Right, that should be all the buttons pushed again. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night, good evening. I think that's all of them. <laughs> Hopefully that'll cover all the bases. Thank you very much for joining me wherever you are in the world. Let's see if we uh, can't finish off a little bit of everybody's gone to the rapture. So we've seen the, the story now of, let me think, Wendy. We've seen the story of a local preacher, which I've just immediately forgotten the name of, Jeremy. Um, and now we are, we've learned the story of Frank. And I think we're just starting the story of Lindsay. It seems to be all revolving around uh, Stephen from the perspective of everybody else. Um, so I'm wondering if we're going to ever see Stephen's story. Well, I would be surprised if we don't see Stephen's story at least to come. Um, and yeah, we're trying to figure out what the, the whole orbs of light are. I my, sus my suspicions are that they are, in fact, the people of the local town. Um given that they are named after the people in the local town and the, the, the history that we're hearing as we're going along and getting the story told to us seems to indicate that at least they are... Um, something's happened in the town. We know the town's been essentially... After the end of the last story, we know this, the town's been bombed. Of, well, I'd say bombed. We've seen the like echo of planes flying overhead and dropping things on the local town. Um, we know that all... Or, Organic matter in the sense of humans has disappeared, but for some reason we're not seeing any like bomb damage or anything like that. So, either that's something that's shifted in time, maybe, or yet to happen, or has happened, and I don't know. Hopefully, we'll be able to figure it out as we go along. So, I left it on a little bit of a cliffhanger last time. The game decided to save literally just as I approached the post office. Uh, the post office. Uh, at the little camp where uh, Lindsay seems to be and the phone was ringing inside the post office but the game decided to save just on the outside of the post office so uh, we may not well we will hopefully see who is on the other end of this phone call uh, but let's give it a go I have actually loaded the game this time so there's no loading screens I do apologize for that last time let's finish this Right, but yes, Yorton's post office. I say it's a little camp, but it's. I don't know. There seems to be a little bit more than a campsite here. Let's go and have a look. So, once again, all the clocks are at 7 minutes past 6. Soap dispenser. Soap bleach softeners. Very nice. Camp stoves, so maybe it is camp then. Bog roll, towels. Remember to always bring your towel. Kettles, sofa. I am deliberately not answering the phone. Uh, European campsites on a budget. Okay. Oh yeah, the storm had arrived, literally just as I got here as well. Very nice, very nice. Right, okay, let's see on the other end of this phone, shall we? Weren't you listening to the radio? Because of the flu. There is no flu, Lizzie. Oh, Christ, Stephen, I'm not stupid. Of course there's no flu. But the stations are still closed. There's an access footpath that runs alongside the main tunnel. You can get out that way. They won't have thought of it. You know what's going on, don't you? You can't use the phone anymore. Well, like you're not using one right now. Funny. Listen. Just don't use the phone after this. No TV or radio either. It can hide in the signal. Oh, you make it sound like it's alive. I don't think we have a word for what it is. Just promise me. Don't tell anyone. Pack quietly. Meet me at the station tomorrow, all right? I feel awful lying and leaving all these people here. Mm -hmm. was a brilliant idea about the show. Top marks for that, you clever thing. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. So it seems like Stephen had a plan. Uh, 
can't see much in the storeroom. Let's carry on, shall we? Anything around the back? I don't think I can get around here. No. Reception pool, tennis courts, parking, and the laundry. Right, well, I guess we're going to have to take a little bit of a uh, poke around again. So, where should we head first? We head down to the pool. Start on the right workaround. Why not? That doesn't seem the pool is a million miles away anyway. And we've got a little side path. Oh, I'm not going to go all the way around there. I'll just walk around here. We've got a little sit down bench. Aircon unit. Changing rooms by the looks of it. Oh, our old friend has joined us. Let's have a look what's in here. Never get that. Oh, managed. Is your hip giving you grief today? Always gives me grief. And I managed for the last ten years, so you're a little late for the night in shining armor routine. See <laughs> yourself, I'm only trying to help. God damn it, Stephen. I'm not some useless, sappy girl that you can just string along forever. Look around you. I made all of this. I built it on my own when everyone else had written me off as some poor little cripple. You know that's not how I see you. Well, you weren't there, were you? No. You'd given up on me long before the accident. What do you want from me, Lizzie? I love you. I'll do anything. Anything except okay? I thought not. I love you too, but sometimes I think you just say what you think everyone else wants to hear. Mm. Out of order, out of order. Oh, you get changed in here. Nope. Apparently we can't, because we can't fit in front of the door. Behind the door, even. Not this one. Nope. <laughs> out of order. One's open. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Okay, let's carry on, shall we? Let's carry on. Okay, the rain has decidedly stopped. In pool, just for the ball. Can I jump in the pool? Will it let me? No. Can I go down the steps into the pool? No. Aww. Apparently, whoever I am, I just I learned not to swim. Why can I hear people? What? Okay, we now have more things. Not that way for the tennis courts, the main hall, the playground, showers, lake. Okay, I think these must be the showers then. I found another dead bird over at the swimming pool. That's Reese. the fourth one this morning. Did you fish it out? Yeah. Did you get a chance to think about that pay night? Oh, I'm sorry, Reese. I've been a little bit busy. Oh, Rachel. Sorry I'm late, Mrs. Graves. I was packing away the tennis things. Did you check Mr. Cole Shelley again like I asked you to? He's not back yet. I haven't seen him either. Do you think he went into town? Maybe. Yeah, something oh, like that. Oh, Reese, the dentists were booked in for a 4.30 tennis session, but they didn't show up. So I went to their chalet. You know, they always take the one near the campfire, but they weren't there either. I think maybe they went into the village for a hoover bag and might have given Mr. Cole a lift. A hoover bag? Why on earth would they do that? Well, I think maybe Mrs. Denton was hoovering and the bag broke so they had to get another one. Because there's this dust all over this chalet. Uh, okay. Is it dust or is it something else? Tennis balls, towels... Pizza bears, cleaning, 
But this is like all the recreational stuff that's been stored in here by the looks of it. Bleach. Spare swimming stuff. There's some really eerie music. Dust. Uh oh, it's like Red Dwarf all over again. Indeed. We've got a little footpath here. Where does the footpath go? Uh, oh, I can hear a radio. And a crying voice apparently over here. Where does this leave? Okay, so that that's a whole nother path over there. Okay, well let's carry round to carry on round to where the showers There's another path. Well, we'll follow the main path for now, and then we'll come back to this. Oh. Hi, Mr. Orb. Where are you going? You're eventually going up that path as well, so... Okay, I will come back to that. So, the showers... Did anything happen in the showers? Showers are all clear. Oh, I can hear another radio. This side open? No. Nope. Definitely another radio over here. Okay, so we got a little campsite. That way for bluebells. Okay. This way for... An enemy and the lake. Okay, well, let's take a tour around any of these houses and see if any of them have got radios. Let's see if we can't hear any more of the story. They were packed and ready to go as well. Is that up? This is a public service announcement from Haverton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Okay. So that explains, as we were heard on the phone call before, the. Um, why the clergyman was able to come out because the clergy and the scoutmasters were apparently your go-to people and the rain has stopped again well, the orb did come through the village so I wonder if we'll see something else in here oh, upside down bike one's usually changing their tyres yep, yeah, bike pump Pump up the tyres. Uh, okay. That's the lake by the looks of it. Aha! We have another one we can tune over here. Don't forget your towel. The rain has started again. BBQ. Electrical blood sockets. Okay, let's tune this one. It's Kate. That's enough. Elizabeth? Lizzie. I've heard a lot about you. It's good, you know, you and Emma, it's not difficult or anything. Should it be? I'm sorry? You said it wasn't difficult. I don't see why it would be difficult. You and Stephen were together a long time ago. We moved away. It certainly isn't difficult for me. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you or... No, I'm not offended. Listen, Elizabeth, I... But Lizzie... Please. <laughs> Lizzie. Right. You seem like an okay type of person. And I'm not trying to be rude, I promise. But let's try and be realistic here, huh? Let's, um, try and do our best. 
It's <laughs> a British thing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I suppose it is. We'll do our best then. Okay, struggle on. I think that's as far as we can get for the lake. Jeez, this storm. Okay, let's follow it around. See if we can actually go down to the lake. Oh, it just saved. Okay. Oh, yeah, the orb's down there, so we'll probably hear something. What the devil is this thing? Okay. Oh, we have an updated sign. Where are we now? Yep, we're right on the edge of the lake. So I think either this is going to be the last area. We've been up to the Appleton's farm. So I think the lake and maybe the little tipworth at the top is going to be the last area. So I don't think we're too far from the end. She's done been? a runner. Don't say that, Reese. She wouldn't do that. Would she? What about Dylan? She's not exactly jumped at the chance of looking after him, is she? She just left you to it. She's not coming back. I let her go. She's always thinking of everyone else. There must be something important she needs to do. It looks like you're in charge now. So I guess this means we're not leaving, are we? Spain can wait. Listen, you get back in there, and you make this the best bloody Peter Pan ever performed in England. <laughs> and I'm going to go and get your mum and dad. Promise me you'll come back. I promise. Mmm. Bet you never did. Following this round. Someone had a nice view. In the sundown here. Yeah? Public service announcement from Haverton District Council Emergency Measure Committee. Road and rail filters are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Who's pressing the button on those recordings? Why can I hear children? People, maybe people tried to escape on over the lake. I can hear another radio. Oh, this place had a kill. No doggo though. Pace of the missing dog again. Okay, that was a little bit brief and slightly scary. <laughs> what is happening to me? Uh, another place with a kennel? This one's locked though. I don't see anything over there. The, the music keeps changing and it's getting really eerie. More tennis balls? Anything by the car? I think down there by the looks of it. Why can't I? <laughs> Hearing children screaming, and it's really weird. She's not in her office either. Well, they live nearby, don't they? Yeah, in the village. You don't think she's gone to look for Mr. Graves, do you? I think Lizzie knows Robert will turn up when he's sober. It'll be all right. Do you want me to go and look for her? No, it's okay. Come on, I promised the kids another shot the last number, then I promised everyone a cup of tea. You're very like her, you know. Like Lizzie. Me? No, I'm not. First chance I get, I'm out of here. <laughs> 
Okay. Interesting. So we've assumed that they've been memories or like echoes? Yeah, that's the first time that I've seen them actually interact with something. And it reacts in my time to it. Unless it's just purely coincidence that it started turning right there and then. Which could always be a thing. Hmm. Let's go around the Bluebell site and see if we can find anything. I can hear another radio at least. Oh, Bluebell's had a fire on the go. Maybe the radio? All five towers are now operating together, and I've got the reception up to the red zone, but it's not enough. I'm going to try and route the signal through Tower 6 to create a singular point of reception and re-coordinate the optical array, which should, in theory, focus a signal spike on the point of origin. If I conceptualize this origin point as a seventh tower, then it makes a kind of sense. I'm glad it makes big sense to you. I think we're moving so far beyond everything I understand about physics. Anyway, it's got to be worth a shot. Okay. The other interesting thing is we're getting more story about what happens up at the observatory as we're moving further away from it. I would have thought with hearing the story of how everything seems to be revolving around the observatory, that's where we'd end back up. Well, the Bluebell site was fairly short. Uh, I came from over there, so... Go over here. Ah, right, okay, so I'm guessing this is where the Rocky site came out. Yeah, there's definitely two of them there, isn't there? Lindsay seems to have a mini Lindsay with her. Hmm. Let's wander down here, shall we? This is a public service announcement from Haverton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. You sure no one saw you? Mrs. Graves? I can hardly look her in the eyes. Are you sure we got enough money? Yeah. Once we're in France, we can start working anyway. My dad will bloody skin you. We'll be in Spain and married by the time your dad moves. These two running away together. <laughs> so this was one of their little meeting hidey points. Anything going on around here? Anything on the floor? That I can see. Mm, brain. Okay, let's wander around here. I like this little archway, it's pretty cool. Rain's easing up again. I think I just heard one of the ones I have to tune. Or did I? Was that on top of the rocks, maybe? I don't see anything up there. There's a very gentle incline, so I might be able to head up there. That's the one I heard. Okay, so let's head over to Poppy, which I'm guessing is another caravan picnic site. Yep, oh, this one's an actual full on tent site. Barbecue is apparently still cooking? Okay, maybe this didn't all happen all that long ago. There's some really weird, unexplained time fracturing thing going on here. All the clocks have stopped at the same time. Yeah, we've seen this, the whole town get bombed. 
Yeah, there's no damage from a bomb going off. Hmm. Let's tune this. Oh, hey, free beers! Yep. Oh, this one's a hard one. Go. You shouldn't be smoking, you know. Not in your condition. <sighs> Stephen's fault. He got me started again. I'm not going to try and stop you, but the weather's looking pretty rough. There's a storm coming. That's what Stephen said. He said he'll meet me, but there's things he has to do first. He seems to think that all of this is connected to him. I don't know. I I'm going anyway, whether he comes or not. I'm assuming Stephen has thought of a way through the quarantine. Well, he's clever. You gotta give him that. Do you trust him, though? Well, I love him. So I'd hope that was good enough. Mm -hmm. I hope so, too. Listen, if you can't get through, for whatever reason, I'm uh, getting people together at the village hall, rounding up stragglers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I've got all the campers together here, doing a show. Peter Pan, the kids love it. It'll take their minds off things. And did you see that? Huh? They just react to the what? Three cans of food. So I'm guessing maybe this is where the scout troop were? And yeah, there is many, 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 many free beers. Inkleston. Okay. Interesting name for a bit. Uh, let's go. Got a few easels over here, a few tents, anything. Another fire on the go over there. All right, okay, yeah, that's a pretty good picture. A hell of a lot better than I could do, at least. Uh, why can I hear digging? Am I hearing things? Sounded like someone was using a shovel. Still here, playing behind here. The hell was that? Or am I just hearing things? I might just be hearing things. Okay, I'm definitely hearing things. The Lindsay Orb is still loitering around. Okay, now I'm hearing coughing. Why am I hearing... I'm hearing it again! No, no update on the missing dog. The dog is still AWOL. I can confirm nor deny the presence of the dog. I'm hoping it made its way up to the camp. Oh, okay, so I think... Is this the tennis courts? Oh, I made my way around. Oh, nice lightning. Digging, chopping sound is bugging me. <laughs> Where is that coming from? Anything in here? Changing rooms? Drying rooms. Oh, what happened in this one? But someone's opened a load of cans or something. Let's see if Lindsay's got anything to show us around here. Are you running away? No, nope. Lindsay is running away. Anything in the court? It's 
It's quite something, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You ever seen anything like it? They must be well happy at the observatory place. They're probably all partying there right now. This is right, boss. <laughs> it is. Right. That's me. Short leash. Kids up half a night, bloody teething. Mrs. will kill me if I'm gone too long. <laughs> Good night, mate. No, I... You who's just chilling here? Smoking. Where'd the orb go? Went over here by the looks of it, I think. Trying to take me back into the main campsite at least. So much to see around here. It's toilets again, bike rack. Boots. Locked. Locked. Okay, let's move around a little bit up from where Poppy was, down towards where Bluebell was again. I think we've pretty much covered the whole area. But the orb still has something to show us around here, apparently. I'm coming, little buddy. Is it stopping raining whenever I'm close to the orb? Is that what's happening? Hmm. Okay, so now we've got a little caravan site. Let's have a look. Hmm, nope, nothing in the car. Wants me to come down the hill at least, so. Yep. Die, whatever is wrong, you look terrible. Mrs. Graves. Sean's, baby Dylan's, are you alright? He's fine. Die, come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it. Die. Do you try and get out of the valley? All the roads are shut down. I know, I was driving really fast, but the other car was on the wrong side of the road, and. Oh God, I think. Die, he... for fuck's sake, leave it. Apologies for language. Hey, you're all right. Sean's all right. Baby Dylan's all right. That is what matters. Everyone's all right. But no. Now I need your help. Some of the children, they're getting quite frightened. So Rachel and I, we decided to push forward the show, keep them occupied. You said the other night you play piano. Can you help with that? Yes, yes, I suppose so. But Mr. Graves, Rob can look after himself. He's a big boy now. Don't worry. Just head to the hall and find Rachel. She'll tell you what needs practicing. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Graves. Yeah, thank Sean. You. Go and find Reese, please. See if he needs some help. Yeah, of course. Go on. Well, Lizzie's got a very calm head on her. Oh, Robert. She seems to do well under pressure. I think that was the car that we saw off the road on the way up here. Uh, that ended up just kind of half down in the river, maybe? Um, because we then saw, obviously, them and the baby going through the woods. Um, basically saying to them to leave the car that got on the other side of the road. Because they were more important to make, making sure their kid was alright than risking it all. So, I think I've now seen everything over here. Let's get back up here. Another little turn. Yeah, I think we're now back to where... Yeah, we're back to where we were before. So... Let's follow the path up the tree. Doopy doopy doo. Just 
past Poppy. So the courts were over there. Yep. Tennis ball. Okay, I don't think I looked around this little bit of campsite here. There's another radio for me. That was the barbecue. That was another bar. Yeah, I can hear a radio. Oh, the door's open on this place. Ava a strolling. I tried to leave the observatory, but couldn't. I stood at the gates. I tried to leave the observatory, but couldn't. Okay. I stood at the gates, but couldn't conceive of a world outside. The strangest feeling. As if the valley, Stephen, everything was simply irrelevant. An idea of something, not of something itself. I'm losing track of time. Of whether I'm asleep or awake. My fingers have gone numb at the tips. It's like they still feel. But what they feel is no longer for me. Like the signal has been hijacked. Hmm. It's like she's having a uh, start of an out-of-body experience. This is obviously a nice... This is the recurring picture that we see. I think it's all the dead birds. But the butterflies are quite happy. Um, to the kids. Up by the church. Anything in here? Nothing in here by the looks of things. Fast! This is a public service announcement from Haverton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Okay, that's Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. There's a phone ringing over there, but as we're right next to this building, let's take a wander around in here first. So we've, yeah, we've come back to basically where the post office was. So we, we've explored all over on the right side now. So we've got the main hall here. Can we go in? Yeah. So the Peter Pan auditions, which is what we heard before. That's what they were going to try and run to keep everybody calm. Missing John Coles, last seen Saturday night, June 2nd, 1984. John is an elderly resident, is often seen around the camp. If you have any information, please contact him on the following number. Details he's 5 foot 8, beard. <laughs> last seen wearing a brown overcoat and a flat cap. Okay. So, no hair colour, no eye colours. He's just 5 foot 8 with a beard. Hold on, why does a little village district council have an emergency committee? Unless it was hurried when set up as the influencer started. It seemed to be remarkably well prepared. Well, we saw back in the main when we was in the main village, they didn't did they have an emergency committee? They had like a meeting in the community centre with maybe like five different people, I think it was. Like you had you had the local farmer, you had the clergyman, you had Lizzie, you had essentially all the people that we've seen so far uh, trying to organise and rally up everyone to make sure they stayed safe and maybe it's that committee? It's the only thing I can think of. This does seem to be around, like, the whole village seems to be almost run by maybe like five or six people. Peter Pan scripts, so there's the dead birds again. Oh, to mummy. To pictures. Is this the village? Yeah, it's the windmill, the river. All the birds. And all the handprints for all the children. That's an awesome picture. Okay, Peter Pan auditions. Bridge. Piano. 
morning tree. Okay. Did the play ever happen? Let's wander over to the stage. Okay, the cigarette is still smoking. It's... This is so weird. Like, someone's cigarette still burning on the table is like something from minutes ago. That's not something from like days or hours or months ago. That's like minutes ago. Because that thing's going to burn itself out if it doesn't burn the table in like... I don't know. 10, 15 minutes, if that. So maybe as we're getting further away from the village, even though we're hitting the story backwards, is it a case of the time is getting more recent? Which is why we see the bombs land, but we haven't seen the damage from the bombs? That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, we got a lot of blood. We got another Wargman. Oh, so this was the supplies from the town committee meeting when they turned around and said we're going to get everyone together. So they've obviously started stockpiling. Yep, first aid stuff, cans of food. Okay, beds. Did the play actually happen? There's another one of those swords. The lights are even still on. Can we get up on the stage? No, we can't get on the stage. Can we go behind? No. I can hear a f Oh, the phone's ringing out the back. Okay, so by the looks of it, the Peter Pan play never actually managed to come to fruition. We had the stage was all set up. But it looks like everything ended before it actually had a chance to happen. So, let's pop back outside again. Although I did see kitchen. Can we... Go in the kitchen. This is a public service announcement from Haverton District Council Emergency Measures Committee. Road and rail closures are being implemented to help contain the outbreak of influenza. Please remain calm and indoors. Local community leaders, head teachers, scoutmasters, and members of the clergy will act as your representatives during this period. Be sure to report any symptoms of illness. Yeah, let's go for the phone, shall we? There's a very waterlogged field as I'm walking through it. Just an amazing sound in itself to be able to pull off. Slop, slop, slop. Can we get in the back? Looks locked. Yeah, definitely locked. Okay, let's get the phone. This is Kate Collins and Stephen Appleton. Leave a message. Stephen, it's me. I'm leaving. I've waited as long as I can. If you are there to meet me, I'm leaving for the station now, but I am going anyway, whether you're there or not. But I love you. Please be there. I love you. Okay. Oh, right, okay, so this is a map of the campsite itself. So we've wandered... Okay, we've done the biggest part of it all, by the looks of it. So now we're just wandering around the smallest part. So we've got the tennis courts back behind us. Is that tennis courts? Let's go and have a look. Snowdrop. The snowdrop in. Okay, we also had the green, green and yellow posts. Now we have blue posts. So I'm guessing they just indicate the different areas. Got an orb over there that needs activating. Anything in here? Oh. We've got a blue path over there. I think that just leads to the courts that we were at before. Let's just take a quick wander.
Yeah, I think they just adapted tennis courts to the football. Yeah, okay, so this is where I was before. Let's head back. Okay, that was a rather sudden start and end to the music. Let's go to the orb that I have to tune. Why me? This one's. I need no space for tuning. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh no, that clock is the same. So it makes more sense. And you found it like this? Yeah. I got into the habit of checking in first thing in the morning just to make sure he's had his pills. Mr. Coles is not a well man, Elizabeth. It's entirely possible he upped and wandered off. If things progressed, the mind can be a fragile thing, you know? He's just not very like him, that's all I'm saying, Doctor. He never misses the mid-morning bingo. He didn't smoke, did he? Not that I knew of. There's a funny... It's like ash. Well, that, that is odd. Reese cleaned in here yesterday afternoon. I'll have to have a word. It's not like cigarette ash. Strange. Dr. Wade has just been a phone call. We need it back at the village. Apparently, Mrs. Barton has disappeared. Okay, so people did start disappearing then. But they... <laughs> hmm. Where's this strange... Why can't I hear kids outside again? This is so weird! Where's this ash? Unless it's just what's in the air. I can hear kids. I can't see anything else in here. This is tablets. Yeah, let's go back outside again. over here. All locked up. Disappearing with the smell of ash, indeed. Whoa. Is it the smell of ash, or is it like, is there some sort of ash in the air? You're going to really hate the fact that they've left their clothing out to dry and it's raining. Hey ho. Alright, let's wander up here. Can I wander up here? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're just a little bit along from where we picked up the phone. So let's wander around here. What have we got here? It's a rock. I'm getting all excited because I see a rock. Okay, carry on. I can hear another radio. Where are you, Radio? He's in the tennis courts. Those are tennis courts, not like the ones in the picture. I think it was instant. I, I know that's no help. Can you leave me alone? There was nothing we could do. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry, Ben. Oh, you've woken the baby. Just leave me alone. Rachel, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Well, again, she ran off with the baby, but that can't have been long ago because the frickin' baby bottled and the bear's still on the table. So I doubt she would have gone far. Anything in the tennis courts? Well, and there's a radio over there, so we well, might as well go in. What's on the billboard? Those courts closed until further notice. Not for me, they ain't. Uh, did I hear a radio? Was it in here? Oh. Hey, it's just been on the radio that they're closing the roads. 
Something about the flu. D no one here has flu, Sean. There's no flu here. I overheard Mrs. Graves, and she said another family baptism left. She said they must have left last night, but the car and all their stuff's still here. Screw this day. That's 15 people up there left in two days. Mm. Not like it. Where's the baby? Asleep in the caravan. Sean, I don't want to sit around you waiting for it to get worse. I reckon if we leave now, we can get out of the valley before they get their acts together and close the roads. You think so? Yeah, we can go the back roads, through the woods. I'll leave some money on the side for Mrs. Graves. Oh. I know her husband isn't back yet either. He's a boozer, right? That's what I've heard. That's her problem anyway. Don't be unkind, Sean. Come on, let's go and get there then. Hmm. Again, we saw that back in the area before. That they did actually leave then. I can actually hear him playing tennis. This is so weird. Can you hear that? And then they stopped. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's... I'm, I'm with Sean on this. I don't know. Don't like this. That's a lot of people just leaving. I'm wondering... So, we've heard the story of two people disappearing right at the start. I'm wondering if they were maybe the first two people kind of that were maybe converted into the orbs? They didn't disappear. Well, they did disappear, but they didn't leave. They were just converted. I don't even care that he was screwing her. What made me angry was that he treated me like I was too stupid to notice. I dream through the light storm and see the pattern dancing on his skin as he burns. I wake up with eyes full of liquid light. I'm going to concentrate all five remaining towers on the same point in the sky. If it is establishing conduits for communication, that should create a jump in bandwidth. Hmm. Still for sure. So 15 lights, how many of them have you met so far if 15 are missing? Uh, I think this is 5? But I think I'm going to reach the end of the area, like the enclosed off area, before I'm going to reach 15. So I don't think there's going to be many more light orbs, maybe one or two more? Lakeside, breakfast, bre breakfast at 8am every morning, arts and crafts. Bingo at 11 a.m. plus prizes. Lunch at 12. Tennis tournament. Is that key making? Oh, kayaking with Reese. 18 to 14 year olds only. The seventh whistler, then dinner. Peter Pan presentation. Oh! Hang on a minute. So the Peter Pan rehearsal was at 6, and all the clocks stopped at 7 minutes past. So. That's maybe why we saw everything in the hall, but we never saw, like, the result of anything that happened from the rehearsal. Nobelini's competition. Happy camping. Okay, there looks like there's another orb to tune in here in our floaty one. He's trying to get my attention. Oh! Okay, so this is where Lizzie lived. Okay. Let's get tuning, shall we? Don't touch it. It's fine. It's like a sunburn, but it's a funny shape. Is it sore? I can't feel it at all. Don't fuss over it. I can't believe that you left Kate there. Why won't you tell me what happened? She's probably not even noticed I've gone. Uh, it's really nothing. You're lying. Don't lie to me. Fine. We had a row. She'll work all night anyway. Stephen, listen to me. Was there an accident? Is that how your face got burnt? It's nothing. Something, I don't know. Just got a bit shaken up and then we fought. She wanted to stay and collect more data. Was she burnt as well? 
Is everything all right? Jesus, Liz, are you sleeping with me or her? She's fine. We're both fine. I don't want to talk about her. I came here to see you. I just worry... Well, you... don't. Come to bed. Is this the end of Lizzie's story? All holiday makers to the main hall. All holiday makers to the main hall. Okay. Dead bird. The other thing is, saying about the 15 people missing, is we've only been really told the story from... What did that just say? It sounded like, well, I'm not leaving. Boy, Shipley, I want a word with you. What? Get over here, soft lad, and keep your voice down. Do you know who I am? Yeah? You work for Meg Holloway? Charlie Tate. You can call me Charlie. What's this about, Charlie? Rachel Baker. What about her? Oh, come on, son. I wasn't born yesterday. Are you looking to get your head kicked in? She's 16. She's not a kid. You try telling her dad that. He'll bloody kill you. I love her, though. You can't stop love. I'm not telling you to stop anything. Just be careful, that's all. See, yeah, those two were trying to run away, obviously, together, as he loved her. It's like the the camp of love. <laughs> obviously, you're hearing Lizzie's love story with Stephen, and we're hearing Reese's love story with Rachel. The orb's trying to pull me back to the main hall, I think. Maybe the Peter Pan sh Maybe the show did happen. Yep. I think I'm being guided this way. Yep. Maybe it did happen then. Let's retune this. That's a big one. It's a really big one.
So once again, we've heard the bombers come over, guessing at seven minutes past six. We've seen the echoes of everyone in the main hall when it happened. I wonder if they're like, the orbs of light kind of knew what was going to happen and their lives have been preserved as these like echoes and the memories that we're seeing by these orbs of light as their way of communicating. I'm guessing this is the end of Lindsay's story then. It ended in the main hall. So who's the next orb? Although this looks like Lindsay's one again because it has the little one following it. It is still Lindsay's one, I think. Because normally by now it would have told us if it was a different one. Well, that very much now looks like two. It doesn't look like one. That is definitely two. Is this Lindsay and, and Stephen? Because they wanted to go away together. She was waiting for him. 